Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? What's good, my what's good, what's good? What's good? What's good? I got it. I got it. I did disclaimer. You know, you know what it is. Showtime, go time. We here. Yeah, no doubt. We are what's here again. Thing? My man. Another. The one and only. Man, G. <laughs> my man, the one and only both at in the building. Word. Boy, thrust. We here, and, man. And as you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, ask some questions again i want to know because we know rust has been has been through a lot you know he's he's been he's been seeing shit like you know he's been meeting people and uh, just because he has been always at the center of everything when it comes to music hip-hop music you know what i mean so yeah man let's let's see what what you got for us today bro uh well if you want i was thinking i got the cool um Every D, every D and the boys uh, kind of meeting story. It's kind of interesting because it was uh, with uh, Trouble T Roy. T Roy, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, brother. You guys know him from. Uh, yeah, T Roy. Remember. Uh, that T Roy? They reminisce, they reminisce. Yeah, Troy. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know the story? Do you know the Troy story? Do you know what happened with him? Do you understand the story with him and why they made the song? A lot of people know the song. A lot of people don't know the story. Do you know the story? I hear it. I hear I mean, they. I saw some interviews by Pete Rock and Seal Smooth, but uh, since you have been closed and, and, and maybe you know more than what they told no, me. I no, know, I, know, I, know, I know the common story. But I have a background to that. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you know? What, what do you know about it? What, what's, what do you know? Because maybe I can add on. What do you know about the story of the song and why they did it and how? Because he passed away, unfortunately, at a young age. Do you know how that happened? I can't really remember. I know. I know. He, it was like a sad story and everything, but uh, I really can't. I couldn't get it. Okay, to well, here's the story. Here's the story. A lot of people know the song. That's why I'm asking it like that. It's funny because we're interviewing each other, but uh, yes, yeah, because he basically he's, he was Heavy D, one of Heavy D's dancers, right? That was the era when Heavy D was just moving scraps, step one, step two. Uh, I think someone else had, who is it? I think Light had the big steps. Everyone had dances. The dancing was a craze, right? Yes. So Heavy D and the boys obviously had the dancing, and uh, Troy was dope. And he was dancing one time on stage, you know, you're on an elevated stage. Yeah, yeah. And he ended, up, he ended up falling off of the stage. And I guess he hit his head on the monitor or the floor or whatever. And he ended up passing away at yeah. a live show. So that's like the most unfortunate thing. He was a real chill brother. And we just lost him lost him like that, right? So that's why um, we made the song and a tribute to him yeah. a few years later, right? So yeah, so my background to it is that I ended up... Um, the irony of that was about two months before that in the summer... Uh, our promoter Ron Nelson up here in Toronto ended up bringing in the show with them. And I was always around. I think if you remember us talking in the last episode, I was always, Ron was one of my mentors and he managed me later. So when I was in Shorty, that's how, my, that's how I entered the game for him. And he brought all the rap shows. So I was always the kid hanging out with the groups, taking them to the store, the beer store. I just had these privileged moments with these artists, right? When we get to town, because he'd be too busy hooking up the wires, making sure the door is right, all that stuff you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so during that episode, uh, Heavy, I'd always be a sound check. So after sound check, Heavy D and the came, they did about the hour sound check. Me and him ended up hanging up. So it just turns out when you kick a vibe with somebody, you know what I mean? You just have a natural connection. Yeah. So it turned out we ended up hanging out for the whole afternoon, the whole night, right after the show, took him out to the crowd, right down, they took the wires on the tour bus to going back home. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of crazy, man. I mean, just, I mean, just, 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 just take it from someone outside, like someone who grew up with this song, like, like this is like one of my all time favorite songs about the person. And I know you and you, you hang out with this person before, you know, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, I, that, that, that's the thing. I can see the reason why they made the song because, you know, I was a 17 year old kid from Toronto at that time, right? Yeah. This must have been like 89 or something, 89 probably. Yeah. And there been, and he's just hanging out with me for the whole night, right? He's like, show me around. Oh, take me over here. Oh, what's this? I remember with the concert hall, we have a two, it's a, uh, we had one venue where most of the shows were at, like most places do at that time. So it was a two level venue, right? Yeah. So we were upstairs, like, and there's this cutout. You could see the venue from upstairs. We were just up there most of the night, right? 
was watching and shit. It was just dope, man. And if you're a humble brother, just to, you know, hip hop dude and shit, and it's just like, it was, and it was almost like a month and a half later, I hear this guy passing away at a show. It was like, oh my God, man. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, bro. So I was so happy when I actually heard the song years later, did the tribute to him, right? Cause we didn't even know who Pete Rock and, and, and CL Smooth at that time when Heavy D was out. Remember, they were the predecessors, but they were from the same area. Yeah, yeah. Right? They, it's all family. I think they're family too. I think Pete Rock's cousins with there's something I'm, to link with family. Yeah, there's some family shit going on there. So yeah. So that was another link that happened later down the line, right? <laughs> and oh look at that, man. Boom, right? So yeah, very interesting how things go, right? Because it was like three years later when we got we got to P Rock and Seal Smooth with the Troy track. But I had I had I had I had an experience right from when the actual thing happened out the gate, man. Pretty crazy, man. Hip hop stories, man. The energy of hip hop. Man. Just the dimension of this, you know, because the whole world every, anyone who loves hip hop knows mm -hmm. the song, you know, to reminisce over you. And um yeah man this is, this is yeah a lot of people don't know the story a lot of people don't know the real story though so there we go you know go time you gotta tune in you get the facts too you know what I mean because that was before um, the internet yeah right those stories you that's when we was the, you had to even just tune into like Mr. Magic and Marl's Ball Show yeah. you know that's like what Scott LaRock passed and all that right I was driving in New York City right when I was literally driving into New York City like literally going through like I think Brooklyn or Brooklyn Bridge or something like that with my parents driving at 16 years old when the news came on on listening to Red Alert the Friday night show you go back and forth it was Friday night and then that's when Scott LaRock passed too oh shit I heard it firsthand, like when everybody heard it yeah 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 I like it not when it like, yeah and then I was in the city walking around the next day like Walking around Brooklyn, and everybody talking about, oh man, what's going on? That's messed up. And then they had the tribute show on the Saturday night too. Wow. Woo! We can talk about that next one. There's one for the next one. You know, we talk to one, we always go to the next one. <laughs> that was crazy too, man. That was a weekend of weekends, man. Right? I was right when Criminal Mind did the whole album job. Everything's about to go. You know what I'm saying? We know, man. The bridge is uh -huh. over. Oh my gosh. And this guy gets murdered. Ooh, crazy! Story coming oh, we're up. trying to. Pardon me. Is there Pardon me? Be another story coming up soon? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't on the scene. Nowhere on the scene for that though. I was just in the city. Yeah, I was in the city. Definitely in the city. But that was kind of like wow, like a news, like a shock to the brain, right? Yeah. Because that's when the war was going on, and they even dropped the war. And I remember there was like the bridges all both sides. They even dropped that for the weekend and tribute to, which was dope too. That was nice to see. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's competitive. Yeah, we're beefing back up, right? But, but we lost but we lost the brother, one of our artists, right? So Rest in peace. Yeah, we can talk. Yeah, rest in peace. I met Scott Rock. Scott Rock produced our, our own um Mishi Me, right? That's yeah. our, our, our our first our first hip hop star aficionado, aficionado right? Yeah. So there's a there's a tie to Toronto too. They came up here and showed us the SP twelve hundred. They're the person to bring that shit up here. Yeah. That's when that shit came up here, yeah, eighty seven. <laughs> Ooh, that's when the sample started at 87 everyone got their samples up people, two, two people had it before that it was 87 we all saw that what's that box man I saw it before Schooly D I opened for Schooly D way back and Schooly D did all that we, he did that shit live on the, on the SP12 man and that's what it's all in if you listen to uh, Gucci Time listen to that whole record you hear the sound of it yeah SP1200 man but he brought that's Code Money was there but, but that shit live and we just spoke about the silver dollar <laughs> Sound check, like holy, what's that box, yo? <laughs> That's the cats at drum machine, drum machines. We got lots to talk about. Go time, tune in. This is the show, man. All oh, these stories gonna come out. We don't want to give you too we much. <laughs> they all gonna come out. We talk a main story, we give you little teasers, but it's all gonna come out. It's gonna come out, or not? It's all gonna come out. All right, my brother. I think we, I think we got enough chops on this one, don't you think? For real, for real.